Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marisa Glam and in today's video guys we are going to be reviewing a new drugstore foundation. So this foundation has been out maybe what like a week or two? Yeah and I honestly couldn't wait to get my hands on it and give it a try. Today we're going to be testing out the new Profusion Feel Good Skin Foundation. I picked up the shade Medium 5 so We'll see how that works. So if you guys are interested in this type of video, then please continue watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so every time I upload a video, you guys are notified. And let's get started with this review. All right, so before we go ahead and we get started, so I went ahead and I went online and I was just like taking a look at like the reviews and whatnot. Really quickly read the claims on the Profusion website. So it's a long wear skin perfector, feel good ingredients. This satin finished skin perfector Perfector is infused with hyaluronic acid and packed with SPF 15 to keep your skin protected and hydrated, allowing your radiance to glow from within. As I said, I picked up the shade Medium 5 and it claims to be a warm yellow undertone. So I think I picked the right one. I feel like that was more like my shade range. I did get this at Walmart. It did retail for $7 at Walmart, which is not bad, you guys. Like, that's a really, really good price and it also claims to be vegan and cruelty free it says to apply using a brush or your fingertips uh, you guys know I use my fingers for a lot of my makeup looks apply a small amount onto your skin starting at the center of your face and blending outwards there's a lot of good reviews on their website if you guys want to check it out I don't really have a whole lot of perfusion to makeup I did look at their palette and I did a review on one of their palettes and I just honestly didn't like the eyeshadow palette. I don't know, maybe I would just didn't use it right or something. But before we go ahead and we apply that, I am just going to go ahead and go in with some... So I'm just going to use this e.l.f. primer right here. Actually, that's not the e.l.f. primer. <laughs> Psych. This is the e.l.f. primer. I'm going to go ahead and use this e.l.f. primer right here just to kind of prime my face. This is the putty primer. I'm going to blend that in. So it says to apply with a brush and I also have a sponge. So like always, I am going to apply this side with my, with a brush and then this side here I'll do with a beauty blender. That looks like my color. Let's see. Let's blend it in. It feels very lightweight. It's a long wear, but I don't know if it's like supposed to be a full coverage. Wow. That blended in really nice actually I'm gonna go ahead and apply some right there I don't have a whole lot of breakouts right now yet tomorrow I'll wake up with one but if I did I would like to see if it's like a full coverage type of thing I do have some breakouts going on right here and like dark spots so it did cover that really nicely so I'm always in the mood for a really good foundation all right let's go ahead and apply on this side and then on this side, I'm going to go in with this brush right here. You guys know I don't really like, I don't always apply my foundation. There are certain foundations that blend well with brushes. And there are some to me that don't. I find that the more luminous ones, like the more hydrating ones, are so much easier to use a brush with. So to be very honest, I don't know. I don't feel like it... It looks good with the brush, but I'm just a beauty blender person. So the color, I feel like it looks really white now that it's setting. Ugh. So this one's medium five. I feel like I could have went a little bit of a shade darker. I should have probably went with tan one because I feel like I am a little bit more on the darker side right now. The foundation is sitting really well on my skin. That's one thing I got to say for sure. It looks really good on the skin. It doesn't look patchy it blends into the skin really nicely i will say that it does feel like a very lightweight foundation so far i'm i'm liking it i just feel like the color is just a little too light for me to be very honest yeah i don't know about the color maybe i will mix it maybe i'll get like a darker one it was only seven bucks so maybe i'll go pick up like a little bit of a darker one and then mix them because i normally do mix my colors but let's try this out and see how this works i am going to finish the rest of my makeup off camera and then i'll be right back to show you guys the rest of the book. All right guys, I am back. So I have a full face on, as you guys can tell. And I have to say the foundation is holding up really, really 
good. I feel like it is kind of a very lightweight foundation, which is good because that's kind of like the foundations that I go for. But other than that, I do want to see how it holds up throughout the day. I also noticed that it did kind of oxidize just a little bit on my face. Earlier it was just like really, really, really bright. Like it was just doesn't didn't look like my color. Now I can feel kind of feel like it kind of settled in just a little bit and oxidized just a little bit but I will still probably go and purchase like another one that's a little bit darker so I could like mix the two but for right now I do feel like the foundation is holding up pretty well I am gonna go ahead and wear it for a few hours just to kind of see how it holds up and I'll be back to let you guys know how I feel about it and what are my thoughts so I'll be right back all right guys welcome back so I've had this foundation on for over 10 hours you guys today was a long Day, okay and I am exhausted I don't know if you guys can tell but I look pretty blotch eyed I'm so tired it is now this 10 42 and I put this on around 10 a.m. this morning I thought I was only gonna have it on till like about five or six but I ended up being out a lot longer than I expected so I guess that's a good thing the foundation is so I have to say I feel like this foundation kind of broke me out a little bit like I have a few little black hits right here and right here right here and right here which is really strange but I've, I've i have a few i don't know this foundation just it was doing well until like six o'clock it was it was setting pretty well but i started noticing like cracking really bad right here and then right in this area right here i'm noticing like some really dry patches and i'm not about that okay i don't know what's going on i do feel like i do want to wear this foundation a little bit more to see how it wears and see if maybe it was the primer that did it or maybe I need to use a different moisturizer, I don't know. But I just, right now, I, I feel like it's a no for me, but I am gonna go ahead and pick up another shade that's just a little bit more darker and mix it. Probably not use my primer and kind of just go on top of it with no primer and see how that works. I'm gonna play with it for a little bit and I'll give you guys an update in like another video. But for right now, I have to say, I don't really like this foundation. Um, maybe if you have like very, you know, hydrating type of skin, maybe this will do really well for you. But for me, I have like combination skin and I still feel like this just didn't do well, especially because it broke me out a little bit right here. And I'm not happy about that. I did wear the mask today. So stayed full coverage a little bit right here. Like it didn't come off completely, but I'm still just kind of on that. I don't know yet. I gotta, I gotta get the right shade to really know. And then I also just have to see if it doesn't do this cracking right here. I did notice right here, there was like a patch that kind of like removed itself. And I was kind of like a little bit weirded about that, but maybe this is a foundation that you're not supposed to wear over 10 hours. I don't know, but it did say long wearing, so. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video and this review on this new Perfusion Foundation. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like always, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so every time I upload a video, you guys are notified. And yeah, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.